Well, Parker, how is it looking out there for us today and this weekend? Well, Carol, in it, it's going to, well, if you, I guess if you've liked the weather we've had all week this week, folks, it's going to come back today, this weekend, and the beginning of next week. We've got lots more of that nice weather coming our way. But right now, if y'all tuning in with us this morning, you're looking live here in Victoria, where it's just a little bit chilly out there. Maybe actually I might say it quite a bit chilly. Right now, about 51 after that cool front just came through quite a few hours about right around uh, 1 a.m. this morning. But your dew point hovering right around 46, 5 degrees uh, away from that temperature. You got an 83% humidity. So it's a tad, just a tiny, tiny bit of humidity, or a tiny, tiny bit humid out there. But we're expecting that actually to dry up over the next couple days after that dry air settles in. Right now, all of us in the low and mid 50s this morning. Looks like, oh, uh, looks like here in Victoria, we're the, oh, no. I was going to say, Carl said you are about 50 right now. I was going to say we're the chilliest, but we're not. But look at the weather headlines for the rest of this weekend and next week. We do, like I said, still have some more warm and sunny days coming our way with a couple breezy days coming as well, including today and also next week. But our cold front, our next one is arriving next Wednesday. But like I said, today going to be a bit of a breezy day today with a wind gust right around 15, 20, 25 miles an hour this afternoon. If I can get my clicker to work here. But uh, this afternoon, like I said, it'll probably be a little bit breezy, gusts right around 20 to 25, but then it'll finally be calming down as we go into tonight, bringing us a little bit cooler weather, like I said, over the next couple of days in the 70s after that front came through. But we're warming up to the 80s and then dropping next week. We'll take a look at that in just a few moments. 